What's up sub fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So today I am taking the opportunity to do a review on my Saab NG95 Turbo 4 from 2011. And what better way to start this video off than to start at the birthplace. So this is now more the facility of Nevs, but once upon a time this was the beginning of the Saab factory. So here we have the parking lot where all the employees used to park up. And on the other side of the road we had the technical department and purchasing department and so on. And right here we have the entrance to the factory and behind it I think it's the painting facility some of it and the buildings go on and on so today's video is about my 2011 Saab NG95 Turbo 4 so this was once upon a time uh, delivered as a Saab 95 Vector so it has pretty basic equipment from the factory but uh, what I was most fun of when I, when I found this car was the sunroof so the the car is painted arctic white and had the sunroof it also had has the heads up display from factory and a tan and beige uh, leather interior so as of right now the car has a pretty high mileage but it doesn't show anywhere and it has the cacao interior so I have recently changed the steering wheel to a brand new one upgraded the multimedia to an Android unit but here you can see some some leftovers from the Vector but I have rebuilt it it has the full arrow all the way around so I got a brand new front bumper from Vetlanda Bil and Skade Center and uh, I also got the Hirsch body kit from Autohaus La France in Germany and I know that right now they are producing or taking orders for a new body kit so if you want this you can hit them up on Facebook or Instagram or their web, web page. I also equipped the car with some BBS CK006 rims. So these are 20 inch rims and I don't have any spacers at all but the fitment is pretty good in my opinion. It lines up really good and a couple of days ago or weeks ago me and my neighbor towed a car behind this car so it sat down a little bit but it uh, didn't rub against the wheels nothing at all so they stick out pretty aggressive but they still go inside of the fender and the BBS rims are wrapped with uh, I don't know really how to pronounce it but Vredestein Vredestein it's a tire company from the Netherlands, really really good tires. I don't know the exact offset on these wheels but no spacers at all and they fit like a glove. And the car is also equipped with D2 coilovers, fully adjustable from streetperformance.se and the car handles so well with these coilovers. We are going to take the car for a drive in a little bit and then you could probably get a little bit of the feel what it is to drive the car with the coilovers. I have rebuilt a couple of NG95s with like TA Technics coilovers and FKAK Street coilovers and it has worked but it is far from this good like this car is right here. And the car is also fully repainted, arctic white, so it has brand new paint. All the details in the aero front is also brand new. 
and a lot of these parts you can't get any longer which is pretty sad I also upgraded the brakes so the pads and the rotors are from gtech.se and I have the big Brembo kit and this is the kit that are from uh, Chevy Camaro I think the kit from 2010 to 2015 works and this fits bolt on and I have repainted them so they are laser red the sub color and steel braided lines all the way around and stock brakes in the rear but painted calipers and drilled rotors so all in all I think this car looks amazing we have the spoiler from tune style which is a here style spoiler we have the tune style diffuser which I have redone in a forged carbon look and we have the Volvo air design R design exhaust tips which looks a little bit like the, the Hirsch ones but it's far from the actual Hirsch because on the Saab festival I parked next to another authentic Hirsch car and you can see that the exhaust tips from the Volvo are a little bit higher and the shape is a little bit more like rounded but the as long as you don't park next to another Hirsch car they look fantastic and the forged carbon in the sun just looks stunning I hope the camera can capture and focus on it and I have also tinted the windows so the car all in all looks very mint it is a very high mileage car but there are like zero defects on this car it just looks stunning so right now I think we should take a drive over to the delivery area where they took the cars when they were done completed and ready for delivery push the start and we are soon rolling excuse the windiness of the AC but it's pretty hot outside today but as you can see or you probably can see at least this car has made 327,289 kilometers, which is quite a lot. But as I said, you can't really feel it. So now we're on a roll, and it got the awesome heads up display. So now we're rolling out from the main entrance of the factory. It is so sad to be here at the same time as it's very epic because this is like holy ground but I hope that something will co come out of this factory in the future. So more for the car while we're driving to the delivery area. So the car has like uh, I have rebuilt the exhaust. So it has a 3 inch stainless steel downpipe and a Hundra Cells race cat and uh, it also has like a 3 inch exhaust back to the, to the rear axle where it splits up into a twin pipe and I have two custom made 2.5 inch mufflers and two like straight through and the mufflers so it's a little bit of a custom build but I think it sounds really good right now there is not much drone to it but it has a pretty deep and bass tone to it so the road would need a little bit of work right here but 
but now we are running up to the delivery area right about here was all places for delivery cars which is now empty and it's bushes everywhere so we will run around to the gate and on the other side of the wall here we have the test track where we was a month ago with all the NG95s 94Xs and the NG95 Sports Combi which was an amazing event so fun to be a part of that and truly a one of a kind I, I don't think that opportunity will come so much more but it was really amazing to be a part of that but yeah the roads out here need some work So this road right here is called Leveransvägen and translated into English it's delivery way so we can run forward a little bit as well. So if we go around to the right right here we can continue to the test track but it's closed off right now I think and here we have the Nevs factory and as you can see it's pretty empty outside not much to show out here and here we have the walls to the to the test track so we are here at the delivery way or leveransvägen and as i said previously it's so sad to see this like right here you have a beautiful NG95 and once upon a time this field outside here was just covered in cars I remember when I was little it was like cars as far as you could see there was like very few parking spots left but right now it's like fully deserted or what you call it just pure nothing so sad to see but we gotta keep this that's still rolling rolling for as long as possible that's why I'm doing this work That's why I try to restore the cars, repaint the cars so they look stunning like this one right here. Then I eventually sell it, then I take another sub and do the same thing. I'm not after the money, I think it's a fun thing to do. And that's why I do YouTube as well. I think it's fun and I like to spread the word about Saab, it's a fun car. So we can keep as many Saabs as possible alive and driving on the roads. Because it shouldn't end like this. Sorry for the wind, but... So here we have the other side of the delivery way. And it has rained so much that they can start like an outside pool facility right here. You can see some of the signs for the parking lots has just taken down by the wind and the weather and it's just scrapping around and I'm pretty sure I saw some animals lurking around and you get to see some Nevs cars driving around as well which is pretty cool 
So there actually was a NEVS employee that stopped by when I was filming at the old sub factory and asked me what I was doing there. Uh, eventually they have had a little bit of problems over the years but uh, I don't was the problem this time. Uh, we talked a little bit and he was a really nice guy and he talked about a little bit about NEVS and what they are doing and what they got cooking and could be some interesting things coming, not a new saw, but things happening in the factory. But anyways, now we are going to take this car for a test drive, to see what the suspension feels like, to see what the tune feels like. And now we are going to do a cold start, and this is pretty loud as a cold start. And together with the open air filter, you can really hear how the turbo is working to get the, the engine up to temperature. It's down quite a lot, so now it's ready to go. see if we can find some some curvy little road so we can test the car out and as I said previously we got the suspension done we got the wheels done we got the brakes done and we got the exhaust done and we also got a tune on the car so Dion HPT has done the tuning on this car and from factory it got a boost level of like 0 0.8 0 0.9 bars of boost when hitting full throttle and now it's 1.5 so it's hitting around 300 horsepower or something like that and it really comes to life when you are revving the car so due to being a five meter long car this is actually feeling more like a go-kart when you drive it it is so nice and the feeling and you can really push it like through the corners and you can push it without like not a single tire like rubbing against the fender or anything so it's a really nice combo and uh, the suspension is fully adjustable so I can lower or raise the car and I can adjust the suspension because this camera that I'm filming with right now is a little bit sensitive to that kind of noise but the car is so responsive it accelerates phenomenal and the brakes hits so well with the four piston calipers up front and 
355 millimeter brake discs it's just amazing so what you can do in the future is upgrade to some better pads that will grip a little bit better but as far as right now it's just amazing so gonna do a little pull right here like a low flying plane and in my opinion the exhaust sounds perfect so when when you are down low in the rpms you get that like deep and bassy sound to it it's not annoying you can sit in the car and have a conversation uh, from the beginning my first version this is like my third maybe my first version was a little bit drony at some RPMs, but now I think I have dialed it in pretty good. So I still have that like bassy sound to the exhaust. And uh, from the factory it's like two open cans in the rear and it sounds so empty and hollow. But now this is this is really good in my opinion, so It's been a while since I've been here in my hometown so I, I would like to drive some curvy roads I think this is it but I don't know and hopefully we don't get a lot of traffic but I, I think I have touched upon pretty much everything that has, has been done to the car and uh, it feels so good on the road and it drives so nice what's left to do is probably get a wheel alignment because I have not done that since I changed the suspension and the steering wheel sits just a tiny bit crooked but I have taken this to a track day and I don't have any uneven wear on the tires or anything and uh, when you brake it brakes like really nice it's just like immediate stopping power and it sounds so nice with open filter you get that whoosh sound and the blow off valve so you can really hear the, the turbo working and it's the perfect combination as I said when you put, open up the throttle you get that pretty high like sporty exhaust sound but when you when you chill down and take it for like a long drive go out with the family it's not annoying so when on the more open roads in Sweden we have like a hundred kilometers per hour speed limit and this car just stays perfect in that speed range and the, the rpms match up really nice so when you keep an even throttle, it, it's a nice sound to listen to. And when, when you push it or let it go, you get that little rumble that you want.
just follows the road so nice. And it's not like dodging down so you don't get any any feel of the steering. It's just it's just like an iron on the way. Drives so so nice. And I have also got the, the Turbo 6 previously, that's a little bit more heavy car due to the engine package and everything. So I think this car has a little bit better like weight ratio between the, the rear end and the front end of the car. So it steers much better. The, the Turbo 6 was a little bit heavy, even though I had all the upgrades to it. So really nice driving around here in Trolletan because you see a lot of subs all the time. But yeah, I think I have touched upon pretty much everything on this car right now. It has a lot of neat features like the speedometer that is from like an airplane and the design. Uh, we got the heads up display which is really nice as well and you can change the modes so if you just want to see the kilometers per hour you're doing or if you want to see the rpms together with it or just the speed and uh, the temperature outside which i prefer and you can raise and lower depending on how tall you are so you can see everything all in all this is a phenomenal car of course there are some minor like downsides the turbo 4 has its Achilles heel with the the cam transmission the plastic detail seems to break and uh, then the timing chain fails so this car right here has done the timing chain two times but just if you are aware of the problem it's not a really big problem of course it's sad when it happens but i don't think it's too hard to change it just if it doesn't take anything with it in the fall like engine parts and stuff like that but as of right now i think we are going to go out and film some flyby so you can hear the car from the outside how it sounds with the exhaust and everything and then i think this video will be ready to be wrapped up And what better way to end this video than outside the epic Saab car museum here in Trollhättan. So if you're here during the summer or any other time, please visit the museum and keep the Saab brand alive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.